A suicidal woman with a pickaxe wants Metro Police to gun her down. She survived, and tonight we have the officer's body cam video. News Channel 5's Nick Bears tells us police say they were left with no other choice, but in an exclusive interview, her family says there had to be another option. Three Metro police officers arrived at a home Friday night on Greer Road in Nashville to find a woman with a pickaxe and a baseball bat. The emergency call was for a suicidal individual who wanted to be shot. Now, one officer takes the lead in trying to talk her down. Here now is a condensed version of the incident captured by an officer's body cam. A warning, the video is graphic. So what is going on today? What's, what's the deal? Look. I'm not talking to anybody. Y'all need to treat me and okay. me right now. Metro police say as they negotiate, the woman appears calm enough with no overt aggression, stop, but then her mother right arrives and tries to intervene. Officers say things escalate, taking away their option of waiting until the woman perhaps surrenders. So under a normal circumstance where the mother does not interject herself in that situation, you, that's exactly how that would have played out. Just stay away from the street. Moments later, negotiations break down, and as you see, an officer deploys the taser. They attempted the less lethal initially. The tasers did not work. It enraged her. So just under three seconds later, another officer fires two rounds from his gun. We'll freeze the video here, but the woman collapses. Shots fired. That's unreasonable. That quick. Uh, they didn't give the taser a chance to work. Michael Crestman, the woman's brother, understands that his sister put officers in an incredibly difficult situation, but believes they should have waited her out. And they knew she was suicidal and she told them to come shoot her, so they did. Like, there should have been different, this should have been approached differently. Um, I saw a little bit of a lunge, but there was distance between, it'd be different if she had a gun. PD Commander Scott Bird says the distance between the one officer and the woman armed with a large pickaxe was small. The moment she was tased, she lunged forward. It, it is close when you get to thinking about someone with a, a, a long handle with the ability to be able to reach out. Um, again, you could tell that it was a, a, a circumstance where that was a close. It was, it was threatening. When she did step forward, the other officer felt he had no choice but to shoot and end the threat. The woman was hit twice, suffering a lacerated kidney, colon, and an injured spinal cord. I'm told that she does remain in critical condition at Vanderbilt Medical Center. Nick Barris, News Channel 5.